I've never actually played one of these, but I've watched the first three of them be played. All right, May 12th. And notice you're requesting source submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Oh no. It feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew that sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this, this was the scariest experience of my life. Oh no! I'm scared. I'm Jack Nelson. Had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific South, or sorry, Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forest managed by the Forestry Service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. <laughs> the RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time, I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official uh, circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Ew! What the fuck? Escape to read message? I'm texting and driving! Uh, do I need to read this? Ooh, this, this one kind of slaps. I lived a very solitary life. It helps quite my mind. Keep the memories at bay. Ooh, this is kind of pretty though. All right, let's fucking go in this RV, bitch. I've always loved the great outdoors. I love the like aesthetic. It's like vintage-y. It looks like it was shot on like a fucking potato. <laughs> I love it. Ew! Let's text and drive, shall we? Um. Hush! <laughs> I wasn't very proud of my driving. Whoa, whoa. What the fuck? My game just like la. Is my game okay? Bro! What the fuck? This is creepy as hell. I think I just lagged and crashed into a fucking sign. <laughs> Can I get out? Oh, ooh, this is so sick. Wait, this is creepy as hell. Can I go in here? Stop. Okay, that's spooky. That's fucking spooky. Bro. I saw the diner Kayla was talking about. Breaks, 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 breaks! <laughs> Can I park here? No, I like the music. I like the music. This is creepy as fuck though. So ominous. Like, why do these houses look abandoned as fuck? Alright. Okay, that's creepy. That's creepy. Ew! Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Good, how about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Alright. Oh my god, bro is not even eating. What's he doing? Sign language! You! Oh, good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah. So what can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken nuggets. Meatball sub! That sounds kind of weird. Very well. Would you like anything to drink? Ooh, strawberry slush. Strawberry slush, because I'm a child. Anything else? That'll be all, thank you. What's the point of all these? That'll be all, thank you, and that's it. <laughs> Great. I'll bring the food out as soon as it's done. 
Just let me know if you need anything else. I'll be nice. I'll be a nice person. I've always had this habit of peeing before eating. Oh! She's pissing, bro! Let's fucking go. Let's fucking... How long does it go? Oh my god, my slush! Look at my meal! This is... <laughs> Let's eat. Let me drink my Slurpee first before I even eat. <laughs> Consuming. I love there's a bar. Consuming. This music! I hate this music! <laughs> Dude, Barbara is pissing me off. Barbara's fucking pissing me off. That was like a six piece. Am I really full? You should really send me that casserole recipe. Barbara? Why is she so scary? Did you enjoy the food? Yeah, it was great. Kayla? I don't want to deal with your shit right now. Would you like to have anything else? Or should I get the check? Check, please. Okay, I'll be right back. Moonwalk, bitch. Fucking moonwalk. Here's a check. Your total is seven dollars and six cents. Sixty cents? I'll tip her fifteen percent. What if I pay her? Let's do a big tip. Let's see what she does. Did anything happen? Thanks for the generous tip. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that happens? <laughs> Shut this shit! <gasps> I can actually turn it off. Bro! Why is he so scary? Please leave me alone. Yes, sir. I fucking will. Who? Okay, where's my RV parked? Oh, my music's still bumping. I'm like, yeah, let's go for a fucking road trip, bitch. Got no homies feeling like a ghost. She don't feel me anymore. She says so. When Start the RV, bitch. When you're around, I'm feeling gone. I backed into the diner. I backed into the fucking diner. This, this neighborhood or whatever this is is scary as fuck. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh, fuck. Oh, is this where I go? How do I break? How do I break? How do I break? Should I park? God damn it! This will have to do. This will have to do. I'm too lazy to park. Like a true gay. What do I got in here, by the way? Okay, why do I feel like camping in an RV alone be scary? The bathroom door was strangely jammed? Nah. The developers are just too lazy. And I have this RV that I drove here. And... Are these missing people? <gasps> Sanita Williams. Hugh Jackman. Britney, S <gasps> Britney Spears! Do you see this shit? Are these Easter eggs? <laughs> Alright. Oh my fucking shit, fuck you bitch. Holy shit. Hey, he's kinda cute though. Holy moly, you scared me. <laughs> I thought you were one of them. One of what? One of who? Uh, may lord have mercy. <laughs> what? Bitch fucking teleported. <laughs> For reals. Anyways, can I see your permit, please? Oh, I'm not a camper. You're Billy, right? I'm the... Oh, he said dot dot dot. <laughs> I'm the new transferred... Transferred fire lookout. Is that correct? I didn't know you were hiring... We were hiring this season. Hang on, let me check on that. Did bro just have a gun? What you doing there, buddy? Closing his porn. Okay, pal. What is this? Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. I was under the impression that the tower would be left unstaffed for this season, but here are your keys. Whoa! Bro's got fucking superpowers. Do not block. Oh fuck, am I walking this shit? Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the long hike to your lookout. Thought I might need one. You be careful. Take this. Oh shit. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now for our purposes. When you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system. Just so we know you clocked in safely. If you need B, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough. Okay. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. K 
Okay. Thanks, Bailey boy. Oh, fuck. Oh! What do you want? Hey. <laughs> Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any farther uh, than a half a mile or so north of your tower. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Ew. Bobcats and bears and gays. Nasty business. Uh, Alright, see you around, honey. Okay, tower 11. Fuck. I'm actually scared. Is this my tower? <laughs> he runs so fast when I sidestep. Iron Bark Tower. Gold Creek Trail. Fuck that, I'm going to my tower, bitch. Ew, this is creepy. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Okay, okay. I guess I got a generator? Oh, there we go. Alright. What's over there? I'll investigate that shit later. Mommy needs to go take her, uh, take a shit in my tower. Whoa. Once you're on top of the tower, your job is to look for fires or anything out of the ordinary? Is there anything out of the fucking ordinary? Imagine if there's like a person over there. Is there someone in here? <gasps> Unlock. Okay. Uh, cabin was filled with the aroma of wood, giving me a sense of comfort. I had to report for tonight. Where do I report? Hello? The computer? Uh, what is this fucking computer? This is like early 2000s shit. <laughs> Iron Bark Tower number. I'm 11, right? Uh, thank you so much. Oh! Why is this thing going off? Stop. New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? <laughs> I'm Jack. I saw your light turn on. I gotta say, it's refreshing to see Tower 11 alive again. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. You were watching? Isn't that the job? But had to cover your area until you arrived. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Just looking for a change. <laughs> what? Did he just hang up on me? I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why they <clears throat> picked you. You got a fire going? Nope. You're lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit through the storm, ship. Okay, let's start a fire. Here's the wood. Movement tech. Movement tech. Okay, this is creepy as fuck. Let's go throw some fucking wood in the stove. Alright. Boom. Gas. There's like all this gas everywhere, dude. Nice and gassed. Okay. Go, bitch. It's not uh, working. I see it. I you see, see it? Smoke. It's not even started. How the fuck do you see it? Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Did you report for the night yet? Okay, report for the night. So I have to know the temperature. I saw this over here. It is approximately 17 knots eastbound. It's fucking 44.4. I have to be that specific. Holy fuck. Oh my god, 4.4. 4. 4. It Did worked. Copy, new guy? Do you copy? Right here. Um. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Hey. 12. Signing off. <coughs> you have a good night, new guy. Don't you too, love you. Fight. Love you. Uh, over and out. <laughs> so, so official. Okay, let's play this game though, really quick. How do I. I wanna play Plague. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we're playing Plague! Whoa! Ain't no way! Okay, fuck, I'm already losing. Headshot, bitch. Okay, that's dope. That's dope, but I'm leaving. Finally! I hate working. I haven't worked a real job in many years. <laughs> I, I forgot how to do it. I'm stupid. Oh, unintelligible. Okay. A 
okay? Unintelligible like 85 times in a row. Wait, am I just like waking up in the middle of the night? Is bro trying to get a hold of me? I had to pee. Connor. Connor! Come fuck my ass. Nobody will know. Okay, let's go pee. Oh my god, I'm scared. Can I pee off this? I can't pee off the edge. On my first night, being out of my cab gave me a strange feeling. I can't pee off the edge, that's some bullshit. <gasps> Bro. Oh, I can aim it! No way! Sheesh. Okay. Can I go back to bed? Oh. If he wakes up again in the middle of the night. Night two. We're just gonna skip the- Oh, this is cute. Oh, It's just you and the wind. And the time just melts away, baby. We're just chilling out here, sipping our fucking hot cocoa. Watching the sunset, chugging our fucking shit. Did I lock the door? I don't fucking know. Can I? Uh, to take a photo. Left mouse button. Uh, scroll to zoom. How majestic. Majestic as fuck. New guy, do you copy? New guy, do you copy? Okay. Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? Daddy Connor! Wait, let me lock this. I'm scared. I can't lock it. Shit. Tower 11. Do you copy? Copy that, Connor. What's Son up, of a Daddy? Bitch. What? Excuse Nobody me. Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Do you have eyes on the smoke north of your position? Uh, let me have a look. Do I see smoke? Do I see fucking smoke? Oh yes, I do. The smoke was white. Indicate Indicative of a campfire. I need to... Do you see that smoke up north? Yeah, I do. You spot that white smoke up north? Yes! It's in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Uh... Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray. Bear spray? Do you have any other details? No additional information at the moment. Okay. Just follow Lazy Trail. Keep an eye out for any signs of a campfire or any potential hazards along the way. Stay safe out there. Oh! Over and out. Oh shit! I missed something, but that's fine. Where's my bear spray? My marinara sauce! I need it. Okay. Is this bear spray? Flashlight? Where's my flashlight? Bitch, I am armed. I am fucking kitted to- Oh! I'm kitted to the gills. I will fuck a bear up. That's- Okay, lazy trail. Movement tech. Movement tech. Movement tech. I'm gonna like- Oh! Bears in area? Oh no. Oh shit. How is it dark? We were just chilling. I followed the trail that led me to something. Campsite? <gasps> Bro, you guys hear that shit? Why is my heart beating? Why is my heart beating? No camping. I love Jen. She gives the best head. Fuck! <laughs> she gives the best head. <laughs> Stop. I give the worst head. I'll say that. Kayla! Kayla wants my ass. Okay. <gasps> I hear whistling. Emergency closure, trail obstructed. <gasps> Who's there? Anybody there? Show yourself. It's like a cop. Is someone behind me? Ew, I heard footsteps. Ew, movement tech, movement tech. I'm just gonna bear spray all the shit so they get fucking poisoned. Okay, there's nothing in there. My hands were full. Ooh. Here we go. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that someone 
Something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. Oh shit. I mean, I had to report to Connor about the vacant campsite. Daddy Connor, do you copy? Oh, literally, do you copy? <laughs> hey Connor, do you copy? Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot... Well, first, what's your status? Hot what? Are you kidding me? Son of a bitch. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. Has this been happening this a lot? third time this month alone. Okay. Anything else you notice in those woods? Screams? A scream. Must have been one of those red foxes. Sure! It pretty much like a screaming lady at night. It was a manly scream. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. Connor was fucking someone and they were screaming. Okay. It ain't news. Kids went missing in that area. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. Okay. No them since. Well, people have started spreading rumors that the area might be haunted by some entities. <laughs> you know, you would think these rumors would scare people off, but apparently it's been the opposite. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. Well, okay. at least now you know why Mitch had the Staff Tower 11 urgently. That's unsettling. You guy, I hope you don't believe those rumors. Do you? No. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons if they find them. I'll personally make sure they never set foot in this forest again. All right. Be safe, new guy. Over and out. Over and out. I was too hungry to go to bed without food. I'm so jelly of that view. Oh, I sent her the photos I took. Is Kayla my wife? My girlfriend? What is she? What? What are we? I wish I could text her. What are we? Okay. Uh, what can I cook? Can I put it in the oven? Yes, we're cooking. Daddy, you copy? I copy, Daddy. Daddy's here. Don't worry. What is it? Just reported their ass to the authorities. Uh, good job. <laughs> we'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. That's the duty I chose. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. You got it. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Over 12, signing off. Over and out. I liked eating in bed? With the whole pan? With the whole goddamn pan? <laughs> Bro. How do I eat again? <laughs> oh, I have to look at it. You fucking animal in your whole ass lasagna casserole thingy in bed. It was getting cold. I thought I'd get the wood stove lit. Do I have to get wood again? I hate the audio. It's freaking me out. There we go. Nice clean job. Fuck you. I always close the boards outside before heading to bed. Great. I don't really care. Wait, there's someone here. Yeah, I'm being gassed by fucking game. <gasps> what is that shadow? <gasps> what the fuck? Is that the devil himself? Bro. Where's my flashlight? Hide? <gasps> I gotta be quiet. Quiet. Where's my bear spray? Ooh. What the fuck? Who's here? Bitch, bitch, bitch. I didn't know what to make of it at the moment. Is this real? I'm, <laughs> I'm about to get sacrificed. Fuck no, fuck no, fuck no. Ooh. What? Why did the blind open? 
Oh, I can peek out. That's so creepy. Okay, can I go to sleep again with the lights on, please? Oh, it's Dr. Connor. Connor, do you copy? Do you copy? I need to talk to you. It's urgent. Do you Hello? have any idea what time it is? There's something outside my door. Just couldn't wait until morning. Mention the skull. Tell you what, new guy. It's probably best to ignore these kids messing around. I suspect that's what Marley got tired of. I don't think these are kids messing around. Who would be pranking me in the middle of the fucking woods at like 3 a.m.? What child would do that? This feels like some... This feels like a some real ritual. Is that a typo? Let's not get carried away, new guy. We're in the middle of nowhere. Alright, here's what we'll do. I'll send someone to check in on you tomorrow. For now, yes, sir. Lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. Take and a deep breath. Silent. I'm not gonna say goodnight. Next day, I woke up not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it as a harmless prank by some kids. But there's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in those woods. Yeah? 8.34 p.m. Oh, we're on the lookout now, bitch. What in the trash binoculars? Looks like someone shit on these. I occupy most of my days either with a simple maintenance uh, or by scanning the densities of trees. Really? Scanning the density of trees? What a great job. My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night, which led me to be extra vigilant. Okay. Dude, it's better just to look with your bare fucking eyes. What the? Clint, can I? Oh! Oh wow, this is cool. Thank you. <laughs> I need I need you guys to assist me through literally everything, apparently. Uh, what the? What the fuck is that? Hello? Can anyone hear me? This is Jack, Tower 11. Oh, thank goodness. I I'm lost, and I'm, I'm really starting to freak out. What's going on? I, I don't even know where to start. I went out to explore the area and lost track of time, and, and now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. I think... I think I'm lost. Can you describe your clothing? Uh, Current location. I'm in the middle of the woods, on this trail surrounded by trees. Everything looks different at night. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. All it did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. <laughs> I just want to find a way out of here. <laughs> I don't know what that question was. I don't know what that was. Uh, what direction are you facing? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Who knows the directions? Whenever people ask me, like, car directions, when people say, like, north and east, I'm like, so tell me the address and I'll put in the GPS, okay? <laughs> Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Okay. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. What? What's this music? You know what? Fuck it. I'm telling uh, him to- Hello? Uh, are, are you still there? I'm at a trail intersection. Go right! Now, I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so. Right one it is. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. I just told him right. I have no idea. I have no idea. You're welcome. <laughs> Making decisions in the dark can be challenging. Hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. <laughs> Good luck, bitch. He's gonna fucking die. I'm right here. What? What? I hear you. What? That audio. Stop it. I hear your whistles. Woo. That's not me. What? What? I see you behind the trees to my right. Gaslight in his ass, you're right. Uh, that's not me, bitch. You're freaking me out. That's. Oh! Who's here? I. Where's my bear spray? Bear spray, bear spray, bear spray. Uh, uh. I'm armed! Oh! 
Oh, it's just daddy, uh, creepy dude. Holy moly. What took you so long in there? I've been knocking for hours. I was asked to check in on you. What were you up to, pal? <laughs> I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour? May the Lord be merciful. Anyways, got your tower supplies here. Just the usual essentials. Here you go. I feel like I'm going to pass out if I keep holding this for one more second. Okay. Fuck you. Quit staring at me. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north. Why were you there? I wouldn't screw around out there, pal. I was required to investigate on a campfire smoke. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Nasty business up there, pal. I hate the way this guy talks. Bobcats and bears. You be careful out there, pal. These woods aren't normal, and there's stuff out there that would love to get a piece of you. Damn. Not to mention, you'd be quite a distance from help if anything happened. I've got enough to keep me occupied here, bitch. Absolutely, it's a busy job. I've been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? Just get, just get getting used to the new environment. Are these typos? That's the spirit. <laughs> Did you notice anything unusual on your hike up north yesterday? Mention the school. The silence. Oh Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo up before cleaning it up? I didn't think about it. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. Oh, shit. Anyways, it's getting late. I better get going now. Just keep watch. I'm not saying thanks. Bro, suspicious as fuck. Keep on walking, Jeremy, or whatever the fuck your name was. It was getting cold. Don't tell me I have to... How about you bring up enough wood to fucking do this shit one time? Movement tech. It's giving Slender Man. Ah! Fuck you, bitch! I hate you! Ew, you're so gross! You just <laughs> gave me a heart attack. Oh, I understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you, which certainly can. Fuck off now. Oh my god. The name's gonna be deceiving. Call me Silas. Uh, okay. No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing usual maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say, hi, the new guy everyone's been talking about. You guys like my voiceover? <laughs> yeah, fucking weirdo. Uh, nice. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday. Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Oh, what the fuck is this guy? Absolutely. But some fires are meant to burn. And no amount of prevention. What the fuck? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. Bro. And sometimes, disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. I'll see you around, Sai Sai. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well. But remember... Uh Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Oh. Is he caked up though? Is he caked up though? Oh, I can't follow him. Like, where is he going? Just, he's not even on the trail. He's just walking straight into the fucking trees. Ew. Movement, movement. Let's get away from this guy. Movement tech. The land really just needs to purify itself. Fuck you. Fuck, I need my gas. That's enough. <laughs> I love putting the gas on this thing. Oh! Oh, that was me. <laughs> I jump scared myself. Tell me you're not in there. It's giving Twitter troll. New guy. Copy now. 
Uh, loud and clear. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? Went down to get firewood. Ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? <gasps> oh no! I just felt like goosebumps. The guy maintaining that nearby radio tower. Silence! Is this about yesterday? What do you mean? Trying to yank my chain now. Trying to yank my chain. Uh, no. The radio tower's been out of service for ages. <gasps> it was closed down years ago after a lightning strike fried its systems. And its repair cost was deemed too costly. Who? You? Until the next big funding, which is no time soon, according to Mitch. Then who do I just talk to? If what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. How many goons are out here in the woods playing pranks on me? He knew my name. Do your name. Fuck. You think he's been listening? Possibly. Way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to park guidelines. Okay. Next time you Sorry, see I'm him, getting texts. Get Shut up. Take a photo. I'm doing hot girl we shit. To figure this out. Yes, daddy. Anyway, I got this. I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. Good night, daddy. Tower 12, signing off. Over and out. Good night and over and out. One week later, what the hell? Okay. Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked. Unless I was talking to myself, of course. 2.34 a.m. Oh, fuck. We got another one. We got another one. What? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Jack? 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 Jack. You copy? Daddy copies. Daddy's coming. Don't worry. Jack, you copy? Why are you still up? Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass. Working on that old piece of garbage generator. And now I'm seeing this. See more smoke to my west. Oh no. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. What? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Ew! They don't run away this time. Take their photos and IDs. Oh shit, photos and IDs. If you get worse, don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Update me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. Really? That guy woke up to this shit, called me and said, you deal with it, bitch. Fuck you. I can't turn the lights on. Ew. Where's the smoke? Where's my bear spray? Oh, there it is. There's the smoke. That's far away, bro. That is so creepy. Ew. <gasps> oh! Where well, there's a cult burning people, apparently. Oh! The fuck? Oh! They're coming? I'M HIDING UNDER MY BED! I don't like this game! I don't like this game!
run. Huh? Oh! Ew! Ew! You can't catch me, bitch. I got the movement tags! I got the movement tags! Huh? What? Stop! It's so loud! Holy fuck! Did I die? Ew! I hate this part! Huh? Huh? That's so creepy, dude. That's so creepy. Fuck that. Okay, let's hide. Let's hide. We gotta be quiet, too. My shit anymore. What is this? It was locked. Stop you! Movement tag. Oh, let's go to my van. Ew! I hit the bathroom. As adrenaline kicked in, I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack. We all get a little stir crazy here, Mitch answered. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch. What an asshole. Fuck you. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. My family thought I was making this whole thing up, which is really out of my character. But I know what I saw. Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So, if any of you plan on going camping soon, please be safe. Literally, I was telling my friend today that I wanted to go camping. I'm not even fucking kidding. The happy music. 